Today we've come to the Shinjuku Gyoen National Gardens to try to find the real locations from the film that paved the way for your name and now Suzume no Tojimari. I'm talking of course about the Garden of Words. Ya hello and welcome back to the anime expedition. In true Garden of Words fashion, it was pouring rain out this morning. We're not even in the park yet and I'm already spotting locations from the anime. You know how I know today is going to be a good day? We found a Dido vending machine, which carries the best drink in all of Japan. Which direction, Cherry? Forward! The amount of bird sounds in here is crazy, so I think that might be the bridge we're looking for. I've got this handy tool that can mount my phone on top of my camera, so I can line up the framing just right. Next up is the iconic gazebo. I'm a bit nervous about this one because there could already be some sweet obasan using it, and I don't think she'd want some weeb looking way too excited interrupting her knitting. Ooh, do you see what I see, Cherry? You've seen this movie, right? It's the one about the no. dude with the foot fetish. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. You've got to be kidding me. It's closed. This is heartbreaking. It's right there. How is Cherry gonna cobble me some new shoes if we can't measure our feet with protractors? It just made it look dangerous. Yeah, what's dangerous what about this? Danger, do not enter. The only thing dangerous here are your unfitted shoes. But that is super disappointing to come all this way. <sighs> all right. And pretty much right next to the gazebo should be this little canopy they always run to to hide from the rain. For some reason the roof of the gazebo wasn't good enough for them, but <laughs> hang on, there's not even a roof here. So they leave the safety and comfort of that to come hide from the rain under this. Makes sense. That, here, let me show you. That is where we're headed next. Hopefully this one's not closed. Hi ho, hi ho, that's off to the pavilion we go. It is open, I think. The secret to doing just about anything in Japan is to just wake up super early and hit all the tourist attractions first thing in the morning. That way it's pretty much dead quiet like here. I love hunting down locations from Makoto Shinkai films because his art is so detailed that it gives me like a feeling of deja vu. Like I've been here before. Why is literally everything closed today? I came all this way to sit on this bench. It's rotten. You're rotten. This garden was built or planted, created in 1772. So it is just full of hundreds of years of history everywhere you look. Oh look, a Starbucks. Ah, just like the Shogun would have drank as he walked these roads. Good grass. Some of it seems kind of dead, but there's some green parts in here too. Good grass, good grass. I don't understand. Is it's like it dead or is it not? No, it, it's like squishy. I've never stood on grass like this before. Ikusa. Okay. Um, pointy building. Ah, found the pointy building. If you'd like to download the map I'm following in this video, it's available to my patronies. Join today for your link as well as early access to these videos and exclusive content. Link in the description. Not only does this place have cool grass, it's got cool bark. I always love hunting down Makoto Shinkai locations because his art is so detailed that it gives me like a feeling of deja vu, like I've been here before. It's so cold out that even the trees are wearing sweaters. There is one more location that's actually outside of the park that I want to grab. I think it just kind of flashes by in a montage during the anime, but for some reason it really stood out to me. For more episodes of the Anime Expedition, click on this playlist here. And if you'd like to see all the real life scenes from the Garden of Words, check out the video above. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.